Well, hello and welcome everyone to my channel. Today's question and topic is water cooling, dying, dead, pointless now? So I've been really thinking about this recently. And when I rebuilt this computer, as you can see, this is the Corsair 1000D. It's a massive case. In the case of the random thunderstorm that I'm having right now, I thought to myself, is water cooling dead? So as you know, on this channel, I've been a big fan of water cooling for a long time. And I got, that's why I got this 1000D, because I'm going to get my GPU in here, my CPU in this all in one loop. I can run three radiators, big radiators, and keep those temps really low and quiet. I think that was kind of one of the bigger draws to water cooling and stuff is temperatures are low and it's a very quiet way to cool your system. Um, obviously a ton of maintenance comes with it too, but now that I got this 4070 or 4080 super, sorry, in this build and I, I, the temps on it are just not seemingly very high and the cart itself, I, it's quiet as a mouse. I, I question myself, is it dead? Is it, do I, do I even bother? Do I need a case this big anymore for, to fit all this radiator and cooling power? Because I, we're in the heart and meat, like the meat of summer right now. And I just find myself going, man, this, I, maybe I don't need this anymore. Maybe I don't need this much computer real estate, like case real estate for all this water cooling. Maybe I can just go back to just a simple air cooler and it'd be so much easier and simpler. Because the temps I'm getting out of this thing are just bonkers, like compared to, I mean, granted, yeah, I got my, my temps cooler at the trade off of a ton of extra real estate versus, I mean, granted, this card is a big card. It's a massive card. So it's not going to fit in every case, but the water blocks from aren't like they just make it thinner. Like it, it still takes up the same amount of real estate. It's just, I don't know. It's just a weird thing that I've been thinking about. Like water cooling, I really like, but there's a ton of maintenance with it and everything. And I could just, you know, take the case out to the garage with uh, the air cooled stuff and just blast all the dust out with the, the, the air duster guy and compressed air or whatever. Like just, it'd be a lot quicker and easier. Um, and the fact that it's just so wonderfully quiet, just boggles me I might I, like I, I don't know if technology is just kind of caught up in that sense or what but I think water cooling might be becoming irrelevant and unnecessary for a lot of this stuff with just how much better these cards run or cooler they run they're using I I don't know if they're necessarily using less power but less power for the performance as you're getting yeah they're, they're, they're just so quiet with these fan designs and stuff that I just don't know if this 1000D is uh, a necessary thing anymore for me. I, I think I could even go smaller and be happier and as long as it fits the graphics card, we're, we're gold. I just don't know if it's needed anymore. Yeah, I guess that's just kind of my point in my video is just a little bit of discussion about do you guys see water cooling as a real big niche anymore? Is it like a fun, cool hobby still? Yeah, building those custom loop, you know, whatever, but I don't know, the maintenance and stuff, the trade-offs, I just don't know if it's there for me anymore. Some I've been questioning. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Um, and other than that, I think that's all I got for this video, you guys. Just a simple thing I wanted to talk about that was on my brain. 